Hey, I'm Lee, and today we're installing the TV enclosure, protective enclosure around the TV. Um, a few warnings that you need to know is that you can use power tools to screw into your substrate, whether that be drywall or concrete block or some other material, but only use hand tools like these to tighten the aluminum parts together. That is a critical item. If you try and use a power tool connecting the aluminum parts, you're liable to strip them out and you will have a bad day. Okay, you can see your next step will be to take the rear frame, which is pre-assembled. We've already taken the four corners and assembled those onto there and place that evenly around the TV till you get evenly spaced. Once you get evenly spaced, mark the bottom of the frame so you can have a, a line to put your level on, and then we're going to remove the TV before the next step. Next, we're going to take the mark that we made underneath the frame. We're going to take our level, get, make sure it's good and level. It's very important to be level, and take your line and run it across so that you can mount your frame on that line. All right, next, we're going to hold our frame up on the line where we made it for the level, and we're going to mark the holes for our mounting feet all the way across these three here so that we can mark those holes and put our fasteners in the wall. We're going to do those first before we mark the bottom one. Hey, this is Lee again. Before you install your frame on the rear wall, we have a new added security feature. Pop your corner caps on all four corners and then put this little security screw in there before installing the frame on the wall. Then you'll be good to go. Our next step is to be sure that our frame is level. We're going to take our level and put it up here. Use a good long level, like a four foot level. It's more accurate. So we check our frame for horizontal. We're going to check it for vertical. Looks good. So now we're going to mark for our bottom leg fasteners. So we're going to mark these here, and then we're going to loosen these and move them out of the way, and we're going to take the frame down so we can stall our bottom wall anchors before we put our screws in them. It's very important because if you miss these, you can move this frame around a little bit, and it could cause you a problem. We don't want that to happen. Okay, now you've got your bottom section with your fans. Very simple. You've got a little connector in the middle. You take the USB connector, plug it in like that. And then you've got another USB connector here, which can either go into the TV or into the back of this plug, depending on the style you have. Because, of course, you have 110 volts behind the TV that you can plug this into. And then you'll be ready to slide this in. Okay, as you can see, we now have the TV installed. We've also installed the bottom panel, the top panel, the right-hand panel. I'm going to slide in the left-hand panel and see how easy these go in, like this. And it's important that you have the matte finish to the outside. It's designed that way so it won't be have a glossy glare to the TV. And now we're ready to install the front. Okay, now you can see that we have placed the front cover on the TV enclosure. The front cover comes with the Lexan pre-installed. So basically you've got four screws you've got to install. It takes two people to put the front cover on to get it adjusted because you've got to get it slid into the side panels because there's grooves all the way around the front cover. Uh, once you get the, the, as you put the screws in, you, you put them in with a hand screwdriver just like this. It should go in fine and just tighten them up. Okay, your final step on the TV enclosure is to install the four corner caps on the front and put in the security screw. Once you've done that, you're complete with the installation of the TV enclosure. 